Greetings and salutations, internet friends, and welcome back to another installment of Be Kind Rewind. In this particular series, we go back and rewatch some of the fantastic films that we have seen before, but that you guys have just been blowing up the comments, making awesome suggestions for us to rewatch. Um, so that's what we're doing here, just a clarifier. This is not a first time watching. We have seen this movie before because it's awesome. For those of you who don't know or you're new to the channel, my name is Emily. This is my husband, Matthew. Um, on our other sort of main series, I suppose, our first time film club is where we watch movies that typically I've never seen, but that he has. But again, in this particular series, mm -hmm. Be Kind Rewind, <laughs> is where we're looking back. I don't know what these voices are. I don't know. Um, I'm digging them. Um, mm -hmm. You know what else I dig? This movie that we're watching. <laughs> What movie okay. is that? <laughs> nice segue. There. I'm so good. Tonight we're watching the 1984 uh, comedy mockumentary rockumentary. This is Spinal Tap. Mm -hmm. Oof, man. Yeah, so it's been a minute at least since I've watched this last. When was the last time you watched it? Mm, it's probably been a few years minimum, maybe like five. Whenever I was young and I started learning how to play guitar and stuff, I was listening to a lot of like rock and metal bands. Uh, this movie was like, it's I've seen it so many times. Like I watched it so many times, it's been ingrained in my mind. <laughs> like so, I could literally just sit here and replay the entire movie in my mm -hmm. head without ever having to turn on, <laughs> turn it on. I mean, so at least five years since Minimum. you've seen it. Yeah, I did the math. It has been nine years since I've seen this movie. Oh wow. Yeah, uh, it's it's one of those things you like blink and it's like. You know when people will be like, oh, you know, you know, a couple years ago, back in 02. Like, no, mm -mm, that was 20 years, baby. <laughs> yeah. Anything else before we get into it? Uh, the only other thing is for first time viewers, you might see me with my phone in my hand during the movie. That's because I'm taking notes on things to talk about after. Mm -hmm. So with that said, I'm ready to watch. I'm ready. Let's crank it up to 11. This is <laughs> Spinal Tap. My name is Marty DeBerge. I'm a filmmaker. Britain's now legendary Spinal Tap. 17 years and 15 albums later, Spinal Tap is still going strong. I love that he gave up on crossing his arms. <laughs> I love this ensemble. You know what I want. You know what I mean. <laughs> good drama. Good, yeah, good yeah, drama. Fine. What happened to him? He died. He he died in a bizarre gardening accident. You know, the authorities said, you know, best leave it unsolved. <laughs> and what happened to Stumpy Joe? The official explanation was he choked on vomit. Someone else's vomit. <laughs> you know, there's no real... Well, they can't prove whose vomit it was. <laughs> they don't have no, facilities in Scotland no Yard to, to you print can't really <laughs> dust for vomit. <laughs> Oh God, I forgot Fran was in this. Yes, Bobby Blackman. Bobby, 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 Changes, get the dwarf cannolis, the little ones. Okay, right. I did the bird. Come on, don't talk back, huh? Mime is money. Let's Mime go. Mime is money. money. <laughs> That's great. You know who those two were? I know who, uh, Billy. I, I can't tell who that is. Dana Carvey. Oh. My God. Are you reading Yes, I Can? Yeah. Have oh. you read it? Did you get to the part yet where uh, Sammy's coming out of the Copa? Frank. Frank's walking out of <laughs> Well, you know, they're not, uh, yeah, they're not yeah. used to that world. When you've loved and lost the way Frank has, then you, uh, you know what life's about. Always been a part of me. It was like, I wish another window would come up between them two. <laughs> <laughs> I love how the song's called Big Bottom and they're all playing bass. Uh huh. <laughs> Big bottom, talk about mud flaps. Oh, <laughs> <laughs> I have forgotten some of these lyrics. Oh, how oh, could you? That's all no. Let's talk about your reviews. They are treading water in a sea of retarded sexuality and bad poetry. Well, that's, that's nitpicking, isn't it? <laughs> 
what day did the Lord create Spinal Tap, and couldn't he have rested on that day too? <laughs> On Shark Sandwich, which was merely a two-word review, just said, shit sandwich. <laughs> but, but it's really not that offensive. So they got a lip situation. Yeah. I'll make a note about that. Okay. There's also like a, re a reaction to the female, of the female to our music. What was they're, this they're really, they're quite fearful. We've got, you know, armadillos in our trousers. I mean... <laughs> <laughs> this this miniature bread it's like i've been working with this now for about half an hour and i can't figure out how you could it's like fold a, this though i mean you could well fold. no then it's half the size no, not the bread. <laughs> just hate it really yeah, it does well, it disturb me again. but i it's rise disgusting. above it i'm a professional I'll rise above it you know you got to put it in your rider you want larger bread <sighs> Very special because if you can see, yeah. the numbers all go to eleven. <laughs> One louder. Why don't you just make ten louder and make ten be the top number and make that a little louder? <laughs> These go to eleven. <laughs> I just love the pause. Mm, yeah, the like the wait. He's really thinking about it. This. Twisted old fruit here. Oh! Tells me that you I'm just as have God made me. So. <laughs> <laughs> With the Thamesman and cups and cakes, the Thamesman later You're changed their names to Spinal Tap. They had a couple yeah. of half sized hits that are currently residing in the Where Are They Now file. Hmm. <laughs> 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 Big blow. Ruff. During the Flower People period, who was your drummer? Stumpy's replacement, Peter James Bond. He also died in mysterious circumstances. It's tragic, really. He exploded on stage. Just like that. <laughs> Dozens of people spontaneously combust each year. You know. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. <laughs> yes, that's right. Smell the Glove by that's, Spinal Tap. When you that's Smell the Glove. So black. The Black so Album. How much more black could this be? The great. answer is none. 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 Is that good? More none. black. None. I agree. It's time to kick ass. Answer. <laughs> this will never not be hilarious to me. <laughs> Just can't get out. <laughs> trilogy that I'm doing in D minor. Fine is really the saddest of all keys. Really. I don't know why, but it makes people weep instantly. It's the saddest of all the keys. Well, this piece is called uh, Lick My Love Pump. <laughs> so, step over here, please. <laughs> Do you have any artificial plates or limbs? Not really, no. Not really? <laughs> I would love to do that, but not in today's time. I was just going to say, like, yeah. back that then, just... sure. <laughs> I hate it. <laughs> what you hate? Duty. <laughs> no! <it's... laughs> Why does your soul have duty in it? Oh, this way. Oh, oh, this way. Oh, I'm sorry. oh god, I forgot about this. <laughs> <laughs> oh. 
That'd be one of my favorite parts of the movie. Excuse me. Sure in the group that's playing tonight. Authorized personnel only. Yeah. Open that door. That's the stage. You think so? You think so? Hello, Cleveland. Hello, Cleveland. Oh God. Are you having a giggle? Are you having a giggle? That's true. I think mine would look, look better in Dublin. A <laughs> dick. <laughs> <laughs> oh, so we built a new one. <laughs> and this is it. <laughs> yeah. My solos are my trademark. Yeah, Jimmy Page, take note. That's how you do it. <laughs> well, when we, I mean, when, when you build the actual piece... Uh... But this is what you asked for, isn't it? What? <laughs> well, this is the piece. This is the piece? <laughs> 18 inches, right here. It's specified, 18 inches. I was given this napkin. I was given this napkin! I love... So much more than everything is that he just didn't mention it. Just mm -hmm. didn't mention it. Mm -hmm. It's like, yeah, we'll get with this. I mean, what are you going to do? It's one of my favorite songs. Like. I know how they dance. <laughs> the little children of There was a Stonehenge monument on the stage that was in danger of being crushed by a dwarf. <laughs> really think you're just making a much too big a thing out of it? Making a big thing out of it would have been a good idea. <laughs> or maybe we just fix the choreography. <laughs> what do you mean? So they won't trod upon it. So they won't trod upon it! I am not managing it with you or any okay. other woman, especially one who dresses right. like an Australian's nightmare. <laughs> Night. Is she a nightmare? <laughs> Tell me. <laughs> Night is one of our Australian viewers. Hoekstrand, you are yeah. Spinal Tarp. I'm, I'm... Spinal Tarp. <laughs> May I start by saying how thrilled we are? I know that guy. We are mm -hmm. such fans of your music. Fred Willard. I make it now. It's about eighteen hundred and thirty hours. So that's what fifty hours. <laughs> That's me. That's that's me. I don't understand military time. Working on a sex bomb. Plowing through your beefier. Oh. Oh, it's a wire. Okay. Seven people have been in this band <laughs> over the years. Seven I mean, it's people. like, you know, also, he looks now, like I a can't see myself. blonde Benedict Cumberbatch kind of. Take all those projects that we thought, you know, we didn't have time oh, for. Oh, there's dozens. There's so you many know, we didn't have time for them because of to happen and bring them back well, to okay. life. A rock musical based on the life of Jack the Ripper. Yeah. I would watch that. <laughs> Spinal Taps recording Sex Park. It's uh, number five last week, actually. If you'd be interested in reforming and uh doing a tour japan every single one of them gotta have tmj out the ass i ain't seen a <laughs> single frame without somebody chewing on gum uh. <laughs> <laughs> it's still got the damn <laughs> uh. Just go with it. 
It's part of the song now. Yep. It's official. (laughs) (laughs) I mean, people just spontaneously combust. Dozens of people every year. Uh. Wait, is that pyrotechnics or are those just drummers? (laughs) This is exact my exact inner structure. Down in a t-shirt. Take all your flesh and blood and every Take all them off. And you'd see exactly. This is what you'd see. It wouldn't see. be green, though. It is green. <laughs> you feel your music is racist in any way? No. No. No, no, no of course not. We, pre- you know, we say, we say, love your brother. We don't say it, really, but. We don't literally say it. No, we don't say <laughs> it. We don't really literally all. mean it. We don't really mean it. <laughs> and I love tuna. Those little cans you've got here. Tuna fish. Yeah. Like that. No bones. <laughs> I suppose I could uh, work in a shop. What size do you wear, sir? I think we have that. Something like that. Yeah. yeah. Got it. You think you'd be happy doing that? No, something? we're all out. <laughs> you wear black. <laughs> do you think you'd be happy doing that? Well, I don't know. What, what, what are the hours? <laughs> <laughs> Plowing through your bean field. <laughs> so, yeah, that was This is Final Tap. I just want to talk about it. Yeah, you know, man. Uh, give any of your thoughts. Dude, dude I, I'm glad that we decided to watch this one. Um, this movie is just so funny. Just so damn funny. Uh, so, And also, I now appreciate it more because I know some of the people who were in it. Like, before, I was just like, oh, these funny British people. Like, <laughs> <laughs> But, like... They're a little bit more than that. Um, I didn't realize that it was that Christopher Guest. Like I'd never put the name with the face. Yeah, he um, he went on to do uh, a lot of uh, mockumentaries mm-hmm. like that, like uh, Waiting for Guffman or A Mighty Wind. Which I haven't or, uh, seen those two. Best in Show. I haven't seen that one. It and was... he kind of does. Uh, uh, it's kind of like a Wes Anderson movies. He uh-huh. uses a lot of the same actors, a lot of the core like. Mm-hmm. It's like an actor troupe, like uh, uh, Fred Willard, who was in this movie at the end at the uh, airbase. Uh, Catherine O'Hare, uh, Eugene Levy. Just, and, he's got he's got his friends. Who he yeah, does. and they make these like mockumentary <laughs> style movies, and they're great. <laughs> um, and then Rob Reiner, like I, like there's a lot of Rob Reiner. Try that again. A lot of Rob Reiner movies mm-hmm. that I'm like. I like, but I didn't realize that. I guess I just didn't put him together again. Faces and names, y'all know it ain't my strong suit. Yeah, this was his. Uh, this was his directorial debut. Uh, I mean, he had done a he had done a TV movie before this, but this was like the first theatrical, like cinematic movie. It's impressive, isn't it, Pippin? He, uh, yeah, nice. he got his he got his character name Marty DeBergi. Mm-hmm. He took that, uh, you remember the other day when we were watching that Spielberg documentary? Mm -hmm. You know, it's about that core group of directors that Mm -hmm. were like showing each other's work and like always hanging out. It's uh, Martin Scorsese, Brian De Palma, and Steven Spielberg. So he had Marty Mm -hmm. for Martin, Mm -hmm. D for Brian De Palma, Mm -hmm. and Bergie for Steven Spielberg. (laughs) That's precious. I love it. Oh my God. Robbie. (laughs) Yeah, and Rob Reiner went on to do uh, a lot of the movies that uh, you've seen. Are you like uh, Stand By Me, mm-hmm. Princess Bride, of course, classic. Uh, for the Princess Bride, he he asked uh, Mark Knopfler from the uh, band Dire Straits to do the music for mm-hmm. the movie. And Mark was just joking with him and said he would only do it under one condition, that the hat Rob Reiner wore in this movie, the... Uh, uh, military hat yeah he's like that has to be in the princess bride somewhere uh, so if you watch princess bride whenever it in the kids room it's in the kids room okay. hanging up on the wall okay now and now okay all right well that's a new you gave me trivia from another movie oh my gosh you got you got facts on facts on facts mm-hmm. <laughs> i didn't realize i guess i don't i don't know why but i just always assumed that somehow like they weren't playing music no, they're actually all, oh, they're, they're musicians and they can play. So that's super impressive to me. I always really appreciate that when, like, you, you have, like, the trifecta. You know, you can play music, you can act, 
and you know you can sing like that's just so impressive to me so good job voice you did good what other mm -hmm. notes do you have because otherwise i'll just be like oh you know that one scene that was remember funny that uh, you, know, you remember a lot of people when this came out i don't know they just weren't as familiar with like mockumentaries mm -hmm. and stuff like that they uh, i don't know if it was like a well-known genre or was a thing but a lot of people had like, a, who's Spinal Tap? <laughs> yeah, Rob Reiner said he had people who came up and said they loved the movie, but it's like, I wish you would have, you know, documented a more well-known band. Like, <laughs> it's like, oh, uh, honey. Uh, Ozzy Osbourne said when they watched it, he was the only person, he's like, I wasn't laughing because I thought it was a real documentary. Like, <laughs> it's because like, it's, cause this is real. Because it's he's, the shit that happened. Yeah, he said it's so true. He's like, it's so close to what happens on tour with like rock and metal bands. It's He's like, I thought it was real. <laughs> I thought Spinal Tap was a real band. People absolutely get lost going back and through the stage. Like, yeah, the bowels of the stage. That is a true story. Like, it happened to Kiss. <laughs> They were playing. Yes. They were playing at some venue that was like uh, they were on the fourth floor, and they were getting ready for the show. And they went down the first floor, and there was nobody there. They went to the second floor, and they could hear themselves in the building being announced like over the PA. Uh, but yeah, that act we're uh, here. <laughs> that's actually happened before. Help us! Kiss is lost. <laughs> <laughs> a lot of people would thought that Spinal Tap was a real band. They had to when they released it on like home video. They had. It came like it had a uh, uh, music videos for some of the songs, and oh, they would put disclaimers yes. like up on the screen, like this. Spinal Tap is not a real band. I mean, they might not be touring, but they were a band for the movie. When it was released over in Norway, it was under, it was released under a different name. It was called Help. We're in the pop business, and like I guess they were, maybe have been trying to uh, go ahead and preempt. Uh, people like and let them know that this, is, that, that this is not a you know it's a it's a mockumentary yeah. it's, it's supposed to be funny because they they uh they modeled like the movie poster uh and the name after the movie airplane oh okay uh because when airplane was released over there they had a, they called it <laughs> help we're flying and you know it has the poster of the airplane being uh -huh. in a knot they they called this help we're in the pop business and they had a guitar that was like in the shape of a knot and during the movie it would every now and then they pop up a little disclaimer that said this is not a real band bless it i think oh the part where uh where nigel like freaks out about the small bread and it's like you can't fold it it's kind of uh a lot of bands they have these things called riders mm -hmm. So that's what's given to the venue. It's like their request. Mm -hmm. And I need to have two bowls of Skittles. Only red Skittles in one and only blue Skittles in the other. Uh, close. <laughs> uh, Van Halen did put in their writer that they wanted M&M's backstage, but they wanted all the brown M&M's taken out. <laughs> Racist. <laughs> no. I think uh, you think you, you hear that and you think like, oh my God, like that's so... How diva. How, yeah, how like much a, of a diva. But... Van Halen had a purpose to theirs. It was because they wanted to make sure that the whoever was the club promoter or the manager at the venue was actually reading the rider. Mm -hmm. So if they got there and it had brown m and they know you didn't really yeah. read this. Yeah. Because there's also other things in there as concerns of like security and gotcha. safety. Gotcha, gotcha. Actual, legit thing. Okay, well that's clever. I'll allow yeah. it. <laughs> that was their way of testing the, uh, the venue. I'll allow it, Van Halen. Okay. <laughs> I mean, there were some, I think, uh, that would probably like do it as jokes just to see how far they could push mm -hmm. it and, like what kind of ridiculous requests they could make and yeah. get it but some of them yeah they had a purpose to it you asked in the beginning what was going on with their lips yeah. they had a yeah well there was a subplot that was taken out of the movie oh okay there was a subplot that there was an all female band that would open for Spinal Tap oh. on their tour and the members had contracted herpes from them So that's why some of the shots in the movie you still see them having cold towards ago. There was supposed that's, to be a another little subplot in there, but that's funny. A lot of the uh, a lot of the dialogue was ad libs, Im improvised. <laughs> it was just go with it. Like they were uh, Rob Reiner and Christopher Guest were given uh, ten thousand dollars to write a script, and they instead made a twenty minute like short film. Like, to kind of give people an idea, mm -hmm. kind of give the studio an idea of what they were doing. Bit of a previs, if you will. Yeah. And a lot of that, like, a lot of those ideas still made it into the movie. 
do amps actually go to 11 or did they just do that for the movie because that's just a bit <laughs> that's a bit okay uh most amp like you can go look at mine it's yeah. gonna go up to 10 that was my assumption i was like is there i'm sure there a, might be an Marshall... amp out there somewhere that goes up to 11 just yeah a... i didn't know if there was a specially made marshall that went to 11 just for speaking of that uh fun fact if you go on imdb uh, normally IMDb has a rating system for movies, mm -hmm. 1 to 10 stars. Spinal Tap has a 1 to 11. <laughs> you can only give it up to 10 stars, but it'll say, like, out of 11. Out of 11! That's great! This rating Good. goes to 11. <laughs> this, this one goes to 11. Uh, there's a venue they play at in the movie in Milwaukee. Uh, Shank Hall, they, a real bar in Milwaukee, changed their name to that. Oh, okay. It's funny. Uh... You know how in, in, you've read them, you know how in the Harry Potter series, mm -hmm. like there's a, a constant turnover of the Defense Against Dark <laughs> Arts yeah. feature? J.K. Rowling said this is where she got the idea from that, from the, the drummers. <laughs> Jesus. Oh, I love so that. So, yeah, it's kind of, oh. like this movie's kind of, you know, it, it has uh, spread throughout some uh, other. That's awesome. Other it's media. Some culture. real, <laughs> real cultural influences there. I love it. What else you got there, uh, Notes that's, McGee? That's most of everything. Uh, did you have any, like, do you have any favorite parts of the movie I, or anything like the, that? The pods, the pods are always, it's just so funny, just the whole bit. I ain't Yeah, know. the roadies, you know, he's, <laughs> he's, an unsung, he's an unsung hero. <laughs> yeah, coming out spinning <laughs> an old boy around. As it normally is with a lot of, like, uh, mm -hmm. bands on tours and stuff. Yep. Jesus, this, this, I, I don't know, y'all. Just the whole, mo the whole movie. The whole movie is an experience, and it's so good. If you haven't watched this in yeah. a while, go back and rewatch it. It's so funny. Uh, yeah, my favorite and bits. And subtle. I like, I'm sorry. I didn't oh, mean, go ahead. I didn't mean to cut you off, but just like some of the subtle things. Like at the beginning, at the very beginning. I, I never noticed this. It was the first time I noticed it. With Rob Reiner, like he goes to cross his arms, and then like he realizes that he's got his little yeah. scope thing or whatever. And he's like, <laughs> <laughs> it's, "It's just." And there's so many little little nods. Oh um, yeah, the Stonehenge. Just <sighs> how the band manager didn't say a word about it. Just and, let it and happen. Like, and they pan over to him, and he's like, "Yeah, this is fine. This is fine." <laughs> just the look on their faces when the little stone here starts coming down. Oh, it's hilarious. And then uh, and he's like, we'll just change the choreography so it's not trot a bomb. <laughs> and <laughs> like also, that's it the just, problem. It just, and it also leads to one of like my favorite lines. So. <laughs> You're making a big deal. Well, making a big deal I've made been a good idea. <laughs> I love it. And it's set off scene. It's off, yeah. off screen. It's just so good. Making a big thing out of it may have been a good idea. <laughs> Uh, cracks me up every time. That whole section. Yeah, this is just a good one. Do we yeah. rate these? Uh, sure, why not? Yeah. Um. What would you give this as Final Tap? I'm going to give this one a 9. This is a 9. I can rewatch this constantly. It's gold. The humor is like so like... Sometimes it's just uproariously hilarious. And then sometimes it's just like subtle little things that are like... Did you... <laughs> all right yeah um, like uh when i was growing up and i was like yeah getting into playing guitar i was watching i mean that's how i learned to play i mm -hmm. listened to a lot of cds and you were just, very um, much a by ear kind of individual yeah and uh i was watching a lot of documentaries like uh, about metal bands and rock bands like uh, metallica had one called cunning stunts or stunning Mm -hmm. <laughs> that's what i was supposed to say i was like was it though but uh was it though? but yeah it was i was like i was very interested in the like behind the scenes just like i am with movies mm -hmm. i like the behind the scenes and like what's going on in production i liked looking at what was going on behind the scenes with the band and how they uh how they were off stage and yeah it was uh there's a lot of truth in this movie <laughs> oh, i love it so what would you rate it uh yeah i give it a nine Okay. All right. Solid. Nines and nines all the way around. Pippin. Pippin. I know a lot of people are going to be disappointed we didn't say 11. Oh. <laughs> it's too late. It's too late. Pippin gives it an 11. Pippin gives it 11. He gives it an 11. <laughs> he gives it 11 biscuits. That's what he gives it. But yeah. Um. Anything else? Any other notes there? No. I think we covered 
uh, most of it okay. through talking and conversation. <laughs> well, guys, as always, thank you so, 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 so much for hanging out with us, for, you know, just rocking out. <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> Woo! Might cut that. That was terrible. Mm -hmm. Um... <laughs> Mm. <laughs> you know what you signed on for uh if you don't mind please go ahead and make sure to like the video leave us a comment let us know what are your favorite parts uh would you rate it you know out of an 11 scale obviously yeah. um this you, rating goes to 11 this rating goes to 11 <laughs> do you have any random fun background information trivia tidbits you know we love those kind of juicy nuggets and if you aren't already, please make sure to subscribe to the channel. It helps you to stay up to date on all of our shenanigans and helps us out too. And yeah, if you have nothing else, I don't. I think that that's gonna be about it. We will see you guys next time with another rewind. Hello, Cleveland! I'm sorry. <laughs> <laughs> Those people in Cleveland are gonna be like, yeah!